a story of Sleeping Beauty, do you not? Okay, how was how was that, Lady Cass? That was that was spot on, mate. That was very uh, okay. good. I, I got you, the image of you sitting there with the book in front of you and your yes, little glasses yes. on. Yes, definitely the big the big glasses. I want the big yeah. glasses. Oh, you want the big glasses like with um, the big purple like book. you you want to be you want to be the big bad wolf, huh? Ah, I do want to be the big bad wolf. You know what? Oh, we are totally going off on a tangent. Lady Chaos, how are you doing today? I'm good, thank you. How are you, Sap? I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm better after the last ordeal that I just told you about. I'm, I'm feeling pretty good right now. Feeling That's pretty good. good. That's good. But, but you know what? We, we are not here to talk about my craziness that goes on in my life or the craziness that goes on in your life even though we could talk about that for hours we're here to talk about a movie what are we here to talk about today hello tech members and podcast listeners out there this is our weekly movie review even though we've been a bit slack but you know adult <laughs> life calls and you know we have to do what we have to do so anyway yeah, today man. we are reviewing maleficent legend of a dark and powerful fairy and her curse on a sleeping beauty. You know the tale. Do you want to know the truth? I know you're there. Don't be afraid. I am not afraid. Then come out. Then you will be afraid. Prepare to discover. Will the other fairies fly? And why don't you? What could make a good fairy? I had wings once. Go bad. They were stolen from me. This curse will last to the end of time! No power on Earth can change it! Maleficent. Maleficent, and like I said, every time I say that title, I feel like I have to talk in my voice like this. I feel like you cannot talk about this movie unless you talk like this. Maybe I should do the whole review and no, you know, I can't do that. But I feel like I should because that's just the type of title that this movie has. I totally agree. Okay. <laughs> you kind so, of lost me. Look, I, I don't know. Like I said, I just I just talk, but that's how I feel when I when I whenever I talk about this movie. That's that's just the voice. That's the personality that comes over me. So yeah. why don't you why don't you tell the people? Why don't you give them a little tiny bit of insight about what this movie is? What 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 the hell is Maleficent? All right. So Maleficent, if you didn't know, in Sleeping Beauty, was made to be out. Um, uh, sorry, was made out to be the villain. In Sleeping Beauty so Maleficent is is so she so she's she's the bad guy she's yeah she's she, the story that we didn't get to hear when we when we watched Sleeping Beauty or read about Sleeping Beauty yeah yeah so she's she's the um, villain in the story so Maleficent is the villain story told played by, by played told by, by the, oh I'm sorry oh, I'm sorry no, no, it will. Told by Sleeping Beauty. Ah, see. Sleeping Beauty's the narrator, and yes. Angelina. Oh, the beautiful Angelina Jolie. She is just so freaking accomplished. I swear. I used to not be the biggest fan of Angelina Jolie. Not that I, I never had anything against her, but as she, you know, I was just like she was just kind of there. But as she's gone on in her career, I think that I've really grown to love Angelina Jolie as an actor. I think she's great. And I want to start first off by saying that I think that sh this was a perfect casting for that part. Angelina Jolie was the perfect person to play this part. She just looks the role so much, you know? Oh, yeah, man. I totally agree. Totally, totally agree. I mean, you know, if you read my review on the the editor's corner, um, which we where I posted my written review, I yeah, say yeah, this, I, I totally agree with you, man. She was born to play that part. She's yeah. got, I mean, her, her mannerism, her personality is just all in and it kind of just like naturally came. Like, you know how in some movies you can watch movies and they're like, 
You should tell they're acting. This <laughs> yeah, it's just like force in it. Yeah, this just came so naturally for Angelina Jolie. This Maleficent yeah. part just came so naturally yeah. for her. You know, she came decked out in the all black, just looking evil as hell. And I was like, you know what? She is she is killing that part right now. And I mean that in a good way. But it doesn't start off with Miss Angelina Jolie, does it? It starts off with a little well, I won't say a little girl. What is she? What 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 the hell is she, first of all? Um, Maleficent is she is a fairy. Okay, she's a fairy. I'm sorry, because yeah. I was about to call her a little girl. So the, the no, story no, no, no. She's begins... yeah, she's a fairy. Um, and she's brought up in the uh, I guess um, it has a name, but I can't actually remember what the name is right at the moment. Fuck it. Fuck so it. I call it. it. <laughs> so I call it the the peaceful forest kingdom. I think that would be a beautiful name for it. That's what we're gonna roll with. All right, cool. So yeah, so she starts off as as a fairy, and as she becomes full grown, she develops into the furious, peaceful forest kingdom protector. But but before she even gets to that point, she falls in love with a human. She falls in love with a young man who starts off as a very nice guy, and then like many men, he turns into a dickhead. Yeah, right, yeah. Right. Well, they start off as kids, right? And because she's only got magical creatures around for company, she's heard about humans, but man, she doesn't know much about them because, you know, they don't, then they're not in the forest. They're, you know, off in the kingdom far, far away. Yeah, so anyway, she saw the first dude. She was like, "What the?" She saw this dude. She was like, "What the hell? Who, who the hell is yeah, this? What the hell is that's this?" That's right. Well, you know, the the forest guards come along, and you know, they said, "Oh man, you know, there's there's a." There's a human boy here, you know, what do we do with him? So anyway, so she meets this human boy and um, the human boy, his name is Stefan, um, which is... That, that, he already, that's a douchey name. Like, you, you can't have the name Stefan and not be like a douche, man. Like, you, I knew he was going to just do some, some fucked up shit just from his name alone. But I'm sorry, continue, please. So yeah, so Stefan finds his, um, his self in the in the kingdom and he you know chats to Maleficent and you know they become friends and over time their friendship blossoms into love so no. <laughs> so beautiful so beautiful but like some men uses the key of love to become as you said a fucking douchebag <laughs> you know what I when 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 what happened happened we're not going to tell you every well you know i guess we could go a little bit into uh detail about it because what we're talking about we're, we're still in the first 15 20 minutes of the movie so we're not really spoiling much like yeah, i said right, the, the, there's, there's a many there's a little mini love that, that that comes but technically it's not really love is it lady k well no because it's like love but I guess, well, what do they call it before love? Maybe puppy love, puppy love. <laughs> maybe, maybe last. Yeah. yeah. And, and you know, he, he eventually, I, I feel like maybe it might've been love on her side, but, but coming from his side, it, it definitely wasn't that. And the two just kind of fade away and something happens later on. He, the, you know, the two grow up and um, they kind of go, they go their separate ways. And, but something brings the two back together. Yeah, um, there's there's a king in it. His name's King Henry, and he so cliche. <laughs> and he declares war on this peaceful forest folk, and so he gets all these you know badass soldiers together and says, "Come on, we're gonna take the the magic creature down." And you know, and unfortunately, King Henry, even with all his, you know. Um, forces. Oh yeah, Male Maleficent and her crew, they, fu they fucked him up. Man. Oh yeah, so unfortunately he wasn't very victorious in his um, war that he declared on Maleficent and her fairy folk. And so he declares revenge. Like most you know men, what? like most men that get their <laughs> fucking ego hurt. Right, I'm gonna get revenge on that bitch. <laughs> so you know what, St the king says whoever can bring, whoever can kill Maleficent will be my successor. Yeah. And so Stefan, Stefan uses that puppy love and he does some 
foul shit. What does he do to our we'll beautiful say, Maleficent? We'll say I'm glad that you brought that up because I was going to write that in my review. But Chaos thought it might have been, you know, a bit of a spoiler, maybe. So I, it, it I actually been, left I, that out. Okay, I'm sorry. For, for the people that do feel like that's a spoiler, <laughs> that's okay. I apologize. But I, I I think Lady Chaos will agree with me that it's it's fairly early in the movie when all this happens. Because yeah. we're really just building up yeah, to, that's the, right. to the plot. So, yeah. So, as you said, Stefan, right, uses the fact that, you know, she uses the fact that, you know, she's kind of in love with him to get close and bring poor Maleficent down. I mean, and the way that he does it, like, is just fucked up. I mean, come yeah. on. But can I, let me, can I say, can I say something? When I, I, I felt like after that part happened, like I said, we won't tell the exacts of, of what happened. But after that happened, I started feeling like the movie should just pretty much have been called damn that chick is angry <laughs> man when she found yep. out what happened now you know obviously he didn't kill her because if that was the case then the whole movie would not have taken well, place well that's right it but, would have been like a what 15 20 minute movie <laughs> exactly but when she finds out what he did to her man she let off the the most angry sc she scared me i was watching the movie at two o'clock in the morning and this chick was like, ah! I was like, damn, look, that shit made me question everything I've ever said to Toya. Uh, like, my fiance, I was like, man, I don't ever want to make her mad because I swear, there's nothing like uh, a woman scorn, man. I feel like if I just tell Toya, like, hey, babe, I forgot to bring dinner home. Ah! Oh, babe, I forgot to clean the countertop. Ah! This chick went crazy. I swear, man. Look, this this movie will make you fear a woman. I'm sorry. I had, I had to throw that in there, Lady K. No, 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 and by all means, but I mean, it it portrays a perfect example of how a woman would react when her fucking heart is broken, and that's exactly what happened. She, you saw the raw betrayal on her face, man. Like, fuck this. Mm, you know what word I want to say, but right now I can't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and and that's. And that's what you see portrayed by her is that, you know, fuck, I let him in and he's fucking done this shit to me. Right, you know, it's it's all over, man. G game down. Like, cards are thrown down. That's it. This dude's going to fucking cop it, you know. Now, I, th I think this is a perfect spot to, sell, to say, I mean, to pretty much kind of piggyback off what we were saying earlier. Joe, when, when she got her heart broken, I felt for her because... You could, like, she played that part so well. You could see the pain on her face. Her, the way she reacted to it just made you want to, it made you want to jump into the movie and punch Stefan in his face yourself. You know, she really played that part up. And, yeah. I mean, in her, and in Maleficent's defense, I mean, I'd be pretty damn angry if somebody did to me what she, what he did to her as well. Oh, so. shit, yeah. You know? So, you know, I mean, for us, for us women, I mean, I don't know about you, but like, you know, you said that you want to punch Stefan in the face, man. It just makes you want to reach in the screen and give her a hug and say, hey, it's yeah, okay. Yeah. It's okay. Don't cry because, anymore. Be exactly. Because you see the anger, but after the anger, you see, you see the hurt and it makes you, I mean, like, it really makes you feel for her. Now, what? What, we don't want to go too deep into it because, like I said, after after that, that sets up what the movie is. And like I said, it, you, you can kind of probably already guess because it's well known that it's the uh, opposite side of the Sleeping Beauty uh, story. So yeah, let's right. talk about let's talk about what what did you like about the movie? Visually wise, this movie is amazing. Oh my Stunning. god, Stunning it is visuals. so pretty. I mean, pretty is like a, a calm word for it i guess i mean yeah it's amazing like they the the scenes and the backgrounds and the costumes just all fit the part so well i i really feel like the visuals themselves are to me it's probably the best thing about this movie as i said earlier i was watching the movie at two o'clock in the morning and the it was so beautiful it literally the beauty of it woke me up. And I'm not even trying to be funny when I say that. The beauty of this movie literally woke me up. Yeah, like man, I was just I like, full, wow. I full agree with you. Yeah, it was just it was just amazing. You know, at first, um, 
when I watched it, you know, it was a bit hard to watch it because, you know, sometimes, you know, I don't know, like, you know, the thing that you're watching it on could be playing up or, you know, your TV's playing up or the kids are trying to mm-hmm. change the channel in the middle. So uh-huh. yeah, it really takes away from it. So that movie you have to watch in complete quietness, you know, on, you know, you'd, with no interruption. And wa- yeah, and watch it in HD if possible because sure. I, I don't feel like, yeah, you got to watch it in high definition because it just standard definition won't do it justice. I'm not even a big high definition guy like that, but you know, if you can get it on Blu-ray, you got to get it on Blu-ray. Now, wh- what else did you like about the movie? Because I know that uh, you know, I, I know what you feel about the movie, but like I said, for those of you, those of you that yeah, might yeah, not have no, saw sure. your written review, why don't you? Yeah, yeah. You know, why don't you give them? Well, as I said, visually wise, you know, it's amazing. Costume wise, it's amazing. Um, the supporting cast and Angelina Jolie, they worked so well together. I don't think this movie would have, you know, gone off the way it did if there had been, <clears throat> you know, if I guess if each person didn't play their part so well, it just wouldn't have mixed well together. Okay, this is where me and you part, Rose, my friend. <laughs> This, as I, I, always <laughs> as always now see you know everybody know like for anybody that's listened to our reviews everyone knows that the last movie review i was very high on the turtles and lady chaos was not as fun now no nope, nope. i will say this i totally agree with you on the visuals however i i do feel like i did have a few problems with the movie number one i did not like l fanning is, is that how you saying that ellie ellie fanning uh, I'm not really sure how to pronounce her name, but the the girl that actually played uh, the princess, I guess as you call it, I I I, I wasn't oh, very D- fond of Dakota her. Dakota Fanning's sister. Yeah, okay. I think her name is Elle Fanning, but I wasn't very fond of her. Uh, I also thought that the movie, to me, I was actually getting into the movie into the uh, to the middle where the uh, you know where they got into the part where the fairies were. Uh, well, I don't want to Looking get too much away, the but the, yeah, but you know, the middle of the movie, I, it did kind of start to slow down for me a little bit. And I, here's another big point that I got to make. I was a little disappointed to see the way, like I said, I don't want to give, I don't want to get too much away. I was a little bit disappointed to see the way that Maleficent changed throughout the movie because I wanted, I wanted this chick to be on some super evil shit. I wanted her to be like on some X Men type shit and just fuck everybody up, man. But like I said, I was looking for a different type of movie, and that's my own fault because I knew what kind of movie I was going into, but I allowed myself to be disappointed by, by not by only the soft the and mo- loving side that she developed. Yeah, and it, to me, it was just like. Uh, that wasn't what I wanted. But like I said, that was just me and my own selfish needs and me wanting me being a man and wanting to see some some terror being caused on everybody in the movie. So how about let's how about this? Let's let's get into what we thought overall about the movie before we go ahead and end this. Alright, well the part that the well, you know, the thing I didn't like about it was was Stefan. I think he should have been killed off, like, you know, <laughs> straight away. <laughs> straight after his dog act. Yeah, but, I, um, I, and yeah, yeah, it does make you want. And like I said, we're not saying that he dies. I mean, for, yeah, all, no. for all you know, maybe, look, maybe they run off together and have a beautiful life. We're not maybe, saying maybe they do. But, um, but yeah, you know, like, I would re- recommend this movie to everyone, you know, go watch it. It may not be something that you like, you know, you may want to watch it. I mean, I first watched it with the kids, um, cause Chaos was, you know, doing his editing thing. Um, and then Chaos, and then I watched it again, so Chaos and I could watch it together. Um, you know, and even he agreed with me that this movie is good. Um, on the things that I didn't like, you know, there were some other things that he didn't like. And yeah, he yeah. said to me, he goes, because when I told him my overall review, he said, you've got to be really careful giving away those re- overall all reviews. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm going to give my overall all review is 10 out of 10, man. Hey, you know what? I, 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 I respect that. Because, you know, there, there's actually a few people that I, I read reviews about that actually gave this movie a 10 out of 10 as well. Me, 
like I said, you know, we went we went different roads. You know, we we walked together for a while, but we had to, t- you know, we had to part at the fork in the road. I know I said some negative that things. That makes about for the movie. fun review. Of course, of course. I mean, we can't agree all the time. Now, like I said, I I did say a few negative things about the movie. However, I thought that I was going to hate this movie. When you asked me to watch it, I'm not gonna lie. I cut my eye at you a little bit through the computer screen because I was like, uh, I don't wanna watch this. But I said, you know what? I'm gonna watch it because, hey, man, it might be all right. But like I said, deep down inside, I felt like the movie was gonna be pretty whack. Although I had some things I didn't like about it, I did like the movie. I did enjoy it. And anything that could keep me up at two o'clock in the morning when I had to be to work the next day, Obviously, it had to be some kind of interesting to keep my attention for a whole two hours, right? So, I will give it, and yes, maybe I'm being a little bit harsh on it, but I will give it a six and a half. I can respect that too. That's that's an okay. That that's you know pretty good. Uh, yeah. pretty good now, score for the, exactly you know. because you know I went into it thinking it was going to be like a three, you know. But like I said, I, I have to admit also that. I, you know, it, maybe my review, you might not want to, you, you may have to take my review with a grain of salt because like I said, these aren't my type of movies, but I'm glad I was introduced to it and I'm glad that you asked me to watch it. So thank you, Lady K. I see I'm going back into my voice, my Maleficent voice. Thank you Welcome, for asking man. me to watch this. Yeah, thank you for asking me to watch this movie. And to everybody out there in TEC world, in the YouTube world, and everywhere, in the whole internet world, we thank you for listening to our review. Lady K, is there anything that you would like to say to the people before we let them go just enjoy it and yeah look out for our next part our movie review hey watch the movie guys uh as usual this is cw sap and lady chaos signing off from tec nation we are out peace later